for rape. Yeah, it looks like some kind of cable system out there. Cable. And that cable? Yeah. It's a winch for something. Cook a big meal right there. Pretty pin mm -hmm. yeah. That is a long start. Yes, it, I don't even think they make people write cursive anymore, do they? They just let the little heathens be heathens. They had hooks everywhere. They did. <laughs> and I don't know if this little one is next to it as a stereo going back up. So I don't know whether the, you know, longitude. Probably another way up to the next floor. Mm -hmm. I wondered if they cooked down here. The kettle, the cook kettle in here, you know, or did that cook for clothes? I have no idea. But we know the washroom was down at mm -hmm. the other end, so I don't know. This kind of makes me Here's our furniture. To get that in, that has to be ten foot tall. Made a cherry and poplar. Private collector purchases piece in the 1950s. Well, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, I've got it. 
had a dumb waiter. They cooked it and they bring it up. This is definitely the dining room. Maybe from the door to the east. I don't think the work from the right. Gotta be the back. Of the in silence. Sisters set the table precisely to avoid passing food and generate the excess noise. Well, you know, you had to be careful. Because, you know, because, you know, liking leads to loving, loving leads to, yeah. you yeah, know, peachy channel. Peachy channel. Uh, leads to uh, other things. And <laughs> this is the kitchen. Another kitchen. I wonder right what the kitchen downstairs. I wonder what the kit the kitchen downstairs. Yeah, it's there's That's down. where the stairwell is. I, I wonder if they fed the kids separately. They're not there. You know how people used to mm -hmm. like uh you know, back in the old days the women ate last There's a nut. Yeah. The shakers like pork, corn, wheat, beef, and sweet potatoes were the staple of many meals. Corn, corn. Wheat, beans, and Restricted the use of pork, coffee, and tea, much to the disdain of Eastern Shakers who considered the Pleasant Hill diet too rich and unhealthy. Many people here ignored <laughs> the rules. <laughs> I don't blame them either. Yeah, when they're restricting my coffee and tea, This talks about being the star from the soldiers during the Civil War. Yep. But for anybody who's curious, they fed both sides. They were pacifists. And here's another one. Are we done? That, that goes up, but I want to go up the pretty stairs so I can shoot, get a shot up. They covered a window up. Lucy Wright is the one who took over after Mother Emily died. Okay, guys. I'm hoping we're looking up that. All 
the way up. What a stairwell. Mary was one of the most photographed women in Kentucky. She died in 18, uh, 19, I mean 23, when she was the last Shaker living here. So, the bonnet was made by Mary Shaker. And if you guys get a chance, you can read Oh Mary. There's things in uh, online. Lexington has some stuff. So, at the newspaper. There's a picture. I think it's all this one online, but there's one right there. The meeting room. This is where we would dance. You know, if you danced, you got rid of the evil spirits and stuff in you. I danced a little. But Mama told me not to do that. Okay. Look at the buildings. And one more flight, guys. And at the time, I think this was the tallest, highest view. Yeah, I think it used to be a door. It used to go out on the balcony. But it 
one time, this was the highest view in the county. I'd read that on a pamphlet. I thought that room the other day was getting a different view. Okay guys, that's the way we went this morning. Now, there is the come in center there where you come in. Bells are chiming and now we're headed to the west side. East and west. And Lord, I do need a cup of coffee. Oh, I do too. Now we didn't come this way this morning. No, we went, right we, we went that way. So now we're doing the other end. Yeah, I just don't know how many of these are going to be open, but we'll see. This was built in 1811. And I have no idea whose house this is. This is the, uh... Old Stone Shop. Old Stone Shop. And it's overnight guest only, so you could stay in that one. Now this is going to be the West family dwelling here. There's number 21. But there should be a thing that that is going to be. Yeah. And there's the old stone shop. Info. Very, very pretty. Beautiful. I'd take a house like that. I would too. I see a horseshoe. Yeah, look at that. That carriage much drive up. Yeah. Now this, is open. this is open. Let me go down here and get the information and then we'll go in. The West family dwelling, it was built in 1821. And it shows that it's open, so we're gonna try to uh, go inside. Let's see if it's open. It says open, but some of these ain't that says it aren't. So let me walk up and see. Because this one looked like she's given. This one looked like they may do some work. The windows and everything are looking bad. So I'll see. Well. It is open. This one is definitely, you can see the outside, it's going to need some work.
Commissioner Sobor had stepped in, I guess. We're not going to stay in here because these are rooms for guests. Yeah. This is being used as a hotel. Hotel. So I don't want to disturb everybody. Okay. But you can see the rod on that eave right there. This one definitely is going to have to be redone. The window sills are starting to rot on it too. And it definitely had a musky kind of mm -hmm. smell in that one that the other ones haven't had. So they're getting some water intrusion. It's going to have to be fixed. But. I think these did, are cabins. Did you know for them to have uh, such a equality of life, they really wasn't equal. Women did women's work, men did men's work. Men worked the fields, took care of the animals, and the women cooked, cleaned, laundry. So it was equality better than society itself at the time, but uh, the roads hadn't been changed yet. Well, we've had a good day today. Our day's finished. We're hopefully soon, we're heading back to Knoxville. Traffic is thick on I-75, so who knows how long it's going to take us to get home, but so we did two things today. We went to the Shaker Village, and let's talk about that. Um, we had a good day. The grounds were beautiful. Weather was good. Um, it was probably in the low 70s most of the time that we were there. Uh, we didn't get to walk the whole 3,000 acres. Big shock, but we weren't planning on it. Um, but Brian, what were your thoughts about the... Our village. I enjoyed trip. it. Um, I would recommend it. What were some of the things you liked? Um, the architect inside, you know, and the ones you could go into. Uh, I like that. I really like the covered street. Or it's like gravel, you know. But the trees were lined uh, on both sides, you know, making a canopy. Gorgeous. It was beautiful. Um, furniture was beautiful yes um, like the like the furniture uh, and you know probably the uh, probably the, my main thing was uh, what was that the uh, center building yeah that was just unbelievable uh, you know the walls they're too foot thick and our admission was what 14 each 14 yeah. But I thought it was, you know, money well spent. A yeah. um, lot of buildings you could go into. Some you couldn't go into. Some were being used as uh, hotel or motel rooms. Um, the, a lot of them had like a little area where you could go into the building, but, you know, you had to be careful and they wanted you to be quiet because of the the hotel residence there so that was kind of a bummer um one of the things i thought was cool i really liked was they had a bonnet that mary settles the last uh shaker uh that died in 1923 um she had a bonnet she had made for a friend and that had been passed down through the family and uh 
it had been um, given back to the village. And so it was on display. I thought that was pretty cool. That was cool. Um, one of the other things I think that they could probably have improved on, you know, a couple of the buildings, they were really good about labeling things, what they were, what the uses were, had pictures. But there were a few rooms that we went into, didn't you think, Brian, where they missed an opportunity where they could have labeled things a little bit better? I, there was, you know. And they weren't labeled at all. No, some of those But we like, still would highly recommend yeah, you I mean, going. It, it was kind of like the downstairs kitchen. Yeah. With the dummy. Yeah, the, the service. Yeah, that the dumb waiter. Dumb mm -hmm. waiter that would take it up. Uh, you know, it, it just. We thought it was a kitchen. It, it, it was. But, you know, it wasn't. That wasn't labeled well. And the bottom, they didn't have labeled good of the center building. You know, but. But all in all, I, you know, I liked it. it what was, would you give it? Eight, eight and a half? Yeah, out of scale ten, of ten. I would say an eight. Yeah. It's, it's definitely something I, I would say if nobody's ever been to. Yeah, there was, a, you know, it really wasn't a big walk. Um, what is it, about a mile through the village? Probably, yeah. So, I, you know, I wouldn't recommend on going a, on a really hot day. Um, today was perfect, though. Wasn't a lot of crowds, but we went in on a Friday. They'd had uh, flooding rains the night before, so some of the activities or tours that would have normally been open to us, they weren't doing because they were dealing with some flooded areas, and not much they could do about that, and I'm not going to complain about that, because that's just Mother Nature. Ain't nothing you can do about it. But, um, so our second part of our trip today was something we just kind of happened upon, because we saw a sign that had us close to, um, Versailles, Kentucky. And... Brian had been there a long time ago, I guess. We didn't remember much from it. So we decided we would go to Versailles. Uh, it was about 30 minutes north. It was just to the west of Lexington. Um, Versailles was pretty. Another older town. The houses were beautiful. Um, the one thing I will say is a little crowded. And that's probably because we were, you know, much nearer a larger town, Lexington. Um, but, um, it was kind of cool. We got to see a, uh, funeral procession come through. It was kind of nice to be back in a town where they actually stopped for a funeral procession. Yeah, it was. You know. You know like they used to do when we were children. Yeah. And then we decided we were hungry, so we wanted to get something to eat. We ate this place called Ricardo's. Oh, yeah. Ricky's. <laughs> Ricardo's. And, uh. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it was kind of like a pub kind of thing. It had good reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor, so we decided to try it out. And uh, Brian got the fish and chips, which were really good. Um, unfortunately, they brought our appetizer and our meals at the same time, which that's never a good thing. Um, but again, that was just a, a major flub up, so I'm not going to really discount them for that. And... I'm not really going to get on to them about the choice that I made because it was my choice and it was something that I thought since I was in Rome, which I really wasn't in Rome, I was going to do as the Romans did and I got their local favorite, the Kentucky Hot Brown, against the advice of my beloved here who forewarned me that that might not be something I would enjoy, but you never know. You know, some things you like, somebody else doesn't like, vice versa. But I thought I was, you know, going to try something. Well, I tried it twice. <laughs> my first time and my last time. Kentucky, Hawk Brown, and me do not okay. mix. We don't mix. <laughs> the two famous things Kentucky's foreign food. Mint juleps. And Kentucky Hot and, Brown. And Kentucky Hot Brown. And let me tell you, neither one of them were good. I know somebody's going to say, oh, well, you just got to know how to make a mint julep. 
Right. I've drunk a bunch of it. But so something tells me I could have gone to Louisville and got the original Kentucky Out Brown. I don't think I would have liked it there either. I don't, I don't <laughs> So, you know. But anyway, it still was a really good trip. It was a great trip. We had a good day. I uh, got up early, so we're actually going to get back in town at a reasonable hour. So, we've got a couple of road trips planned for Saturday and Sunday. And uh, Monday, I'm actually, I think we're just going to kind of recoup from our day trips. Because yes. uh, we're going to have three straight pretty long trips each day. But we're going to keep you guessing about where we're going next. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Oh, yeah. If, if, uh, my one thing, if you do ever decide to go to Pleasant Hill, Kentucky, make sure you read on Jane Wardley and uh, Anna Lee. Ann Lee. Ann Lee. Yeah, do some do some pre work so before you, you go. So some, you know they're kind of right. principal. Yeah. It, it was good for us to do a little investigation before we went, so we'd highly recommend that. And uh anything else? I think that's it. Just pray for us that we don't have to hit a major snafu on seventy five going southbound. Um but uh we will talk with you guys at the next adventure. Thanks for watching.